And welcome back. The board of the Texas Scleroderma Foundation is holding a show on KCOS this week to raise awareness about what exactly this is. And joining me to talk more about this is Margaret Gutierrez, who has scleroderma, as well as Sue Glass, who is a member of the board of the Texas Scleroderma Foundation. Thank you both for coming on today on this Memorial Day. Well, thank you for having us. Thank you. So if you can explain to our viewers what scleroderma is. Do you want to start? Okay. It, um, <coughs> it is an autoimmune disease. It is not contagious. Um, it affects people of all ages, from children to adults. It affects about, um, about one in a thousand, and more women than men, about 80% women. Uh, unfortunately, in their childbearing years, mm. generally get it. The body produces too much collagen, and so consequently, the skin hardens, meaning sclera, derma, skin, um, and it can be systemic if it goes inside your organs harden mm. and, and you die. Yeah. Um, and so we're trying to raise awareness. We have a wonderful support group here in El Paso. And um, we have some wonderful doctors in El Paso. The show on El Paso Physician, which is this Thursday at 7, mm -hmm. we will have uh, Dr. Richard McCallum, who is gastroenterologist, Dr. Hernando Garcia, who is a pulmonary specialist, and Dr. Raj Marwa, who is a rheumatologist. Uh, at the end of the show, we will have um, Elisa Burgos on who has scleroderma. She is totally amazing. We in the group just have so much respect for her. And she's only 24 okay. and was diagnosed at nine with systemic scleroderma. And Margaret, you have scleroderma. So tell us, um, what would you want people to know? I'm sure that people may be wary if they hear that you have this condition. What would you want people to know? Um, that it's, it's not exactly like arthritis. You know, it affects the other parts of your body, but I mean, we can do just as much as everybody else can do. You know, it's just, it's a little bit harder for us to do, but um, I already outlawed, uh, outrun my um, lifespan. I mean, they said 10 years after you're uh, diagnosed, and I'm already hitting 13 years. That's wonderful. <coughs> and uh, so I'm beating it mostly because I try to stay healthy, you know, exercise a lot, you know, and uh, go to my doctor regularly. That's really, really important, staying on top of things, you know, and just having a really good outlook. I think that's the biggest thing. If you'd like to learn more about this pro, uh, this uh, condition, El Paso Physician on KCUS will be uh, t discussing this topic. It's going to be Thursday, May 28th at 7 o'clock again on KCUS. It's going to be El Paso Physician, and the topic is treating scleroderma. Ladies, thank you for coming in today. I appreciate it. Thank, thank you very much. Thank you very much. We appreciate the opportunity. And we have more news after the break.